The S9 and the S9 Plus were recently released, and they are both fine bits of kit. But what if you love the hardware, but you're not that big of a fan of the software? Now, Samsung's Experience UI, formerly called TouchWiz UI, has gotten way better on the S8 and now on the S9. I don't really mind it as much, but I do understand if there's those of you out there that would like to just have a more stock experience. No judgment. So for today's tip and trick Tuesday, I figured I'd show you how to make your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus look like stock Android. Now, firstly, we need to change the launcher. If you're not familiar, the launcher is basically the app that you use as your home screen. By changing it to another one, and there are a lot in the Play Store, by the way, you'll make the biggest impact on your day-to-day -day use as anytime you hit home, it opens this app, and it's where you're gonna spend a lot of your time on your Galaxy S9. So, to get the most stock looking look, we're going to go for the Pixel launcher. Now you can try and get it from the Play Store, but it will incorrectly tell you most of the time that it doesn't work for your device. So instead, we need to download the APK, which is the installer file, manually from another site and install it on our own. To do this, we can grab the latest APK file from this link here beneath my video by viewing this page on our phone, and then we're gonna tap the link below to start the download and save it to our device. Now once that downloads, you can pull down the notifications or go into the My Files app on your phone, whichever one works, and tap the APK that you, from there, and then tap Install. Now after it installs, hit the Home button and select the Pixel Launcher. This will also make it the new default launcher if you check the button. Uh, so anytime that you hit the home button, this is where you'll end up. Next, one of the first things I change on pretty much any Android device I use right away is the messaging app. Now I prefer the one from Google simply because my OCD really likes that I can swipe away messages whenever I'm done looking at them to get a clean, no messages look. Uh, and then whenever they respond or they message me again, it just pops it all back up and it's just, I just like it. It's like checking things off. It feels good. Regardless of your reasoning, we're gonna head to the Play Store and search for Android Messages. Then we're going to install it. You'll know it's the right one, by the way, because Google Inc. will be the developer. And then we can open the app and follow the prompts for it to make itself our new default messaging app. And now to complement our new messaging app, why not the stock Google Keyboard? To get that, go to the Play Store and search for Gboard. Install it. Open the app, and just like with the Android messages, we're just gonna follow the prompts to set it as our default app. So Chrome, uh, which is the default Android browser, is usually installed on your Galaxy devices by default, but it's not set as the default browser. I said default a lot. You get the idea. So in this, we're going to make it our default browser or download it if you don't already have it, because depending on your market, you might not. Now it should already have it, like I said, but if it doesn't, head to the Play Store and search for and install Chrome. Once it's on your phone, head to Settings, then Apps, and tap the three dots at the top right corner and select Default Apps. Then tap on Browser App and select Chrome. Now whenever you open any link or anything that requires the internet browser, it should automatically open Chrome. Okay, so for the dialer and contacts, there is no stock one in the Play Store and I couldn't really find one on the web. If you do, leave a link below. Um, but there is a really good clone called X-Dialer. So to the Play Store again and we're gonna search for and install X-Dialer, that's E-X Dialer. Once installed, head to Settings, Apps, and tap on the three dots in the top right corner and select Default Apps again. Then we can tap on Calling App and select X Dialer. Okay, next let's replace the calendar with Google's own version of the calendar. Now again, this should already be on your S9 or S9 Plus, but if for some reason it isn't, you can head to the Play Store and install Google Calendar. Tap on it and open it, and then you can set it up. Once it's set up, we're gonna head to Settings, Apps, tap on the Samsung calendar, which is called Calendar, but it'll have a green icon compared to the blue one of the Google Calendar. And then we're gonna tap Clear Defaults. Now this will remove the Samsung calendar as the app to handle events. And the next time something requires an event, it'll ask you which calendar to use. So just make sure to select the Google Calendar, and then that will now be your new default. Now one of my favorite, albeit more subtle updates to the Pixel phones was the living wallpaper. So these are the ones that have like these exotic locations and they are live wallpapers that kind of move and do subtle things like the waves crashing, etc. Now, I want that as far as I'm concerned with stock Android. You could just go download the Google Wallpapers app and download any of the normal stock Android static wallpapers, but if you want like a nicer touch 
and actually mimic kind of like the pixel, which I guess is now what we're calling stock Android. Here's how to do that. So we're gonna head to the Play Store and download the Google Wallpapers app, the thing that I mentioned before. Now, these living wallpaper apps won't be available in it by default, but we need it to install them anyway. So next, we're gonna head to this link here below the video on my site to end up at XDA. Uh, do this in your phone's browser, by the way, so that we can download the APK file that's listed in the first post and save it directly to the phone to skip a step. Now, once downloaded, you can tap it and tap install. After that, you can head to the Google Wallpapers app and you'll see a section for live wallpapers. Tap that and you'll see the new Pixel ones in there. Tap one and tap set to set it as your home screen, lock screen, or both. And now you should be looking pretty darn stock at this point. Um, if there are other apps or other things that can replace other parts of the Samsung UI, again, if you want to look stock, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure other people would appreciate it. Just you know, post a link or whatever, or just tell people the name so they can go find it in the Play Store if that's where it is. Um, I'm sure everybody, again, would appreciate it. If you like this video, though, please thumbs up it or share it. That's greatly appreciated. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe uh, and make sure you tap the bell next to the word subscribe so you're notified when I do new videos if that's something that you want. Otherwise, though, regardless, as always, thanks for watching.